Hello guys, here you can see my solar trackers and I have now used those trackers for 10 years and I am pretty happy with them. It's not the only panels that I have. I of course have panels on my roof to my house and I have another 20 panels up on my mountain which we can't see from here. But anyway, we are not going to talk about them today. We are just going to talk about those trackers here. And the plan here is that I will now change the angles so they will be more perfectly faced to the sun uh, because those trackers here only track the sun in one uh, axis so they will track from east to west every day and i am controlling those trackers from my home assistant here so they are time based so even if the sun is in cloud they are going to track the sun anyway or track the time <laughs> all right but however I am wondering here how many more watts can those panels give me if I align them perfectly to the sun. So uh, let's do that and see how many more watts they will give me. But first let's go down in my basement and take a look at the uh, power meter there or the inverter that actually will show the power right now. And uh, of course, this power output is going to be different all the time. But right at the moment, we have a clear blue sky. So I think that um, that time it takes for me to set those uh, trackers up. Uh, it will not change so much in the output. So here are my inverters. And the small one here is the one that will take care of the tracker panels. And the other one here is a Solax 15 kilowatt hybrid inverter that will take care of all of my fixed installed panels that I have on my roof and also that string that I have up on my mountain here. And you can see that uh, at this moment we are now producing uh, 1430 watts. And it's pretty stable. It's probably more the wind that will cool the panels and therefore uh, the wattage will uh, go up and uh, then it will go down again if the wind stops blowing. So, But pretty much 1430 watts there all the time and 196-ish volts. So let's now go out and change that angle to my trackers. And by the way, there is my battery that I have built for my house, 62 kilowatt hours from a Volkswagen ID3. But those trackers here, they are only connected to the grid, by the way. I did forget to say that, but now you know that. So no off-grid system here. They will only produce power directly out to the grid. All right, guys, here we go. So I start with this in the rear here. So there we have the first panel in the right position or in the summer position. So let's take the other one. I thought that I needed that stick there, but uh, it was not necessary. It was a long time since I did this the last time, so I thought that I need that one. All right, there we have it. Let's now run down in my basement again and take a look at the power output. So here we go. So here it is. Uh, it's just barely a little higher and uh, I can definitely say that it is not worth it 
to have uh, the trackers in two axes. Maybe of course uh, between the winter and the summer then we will have a much bigger uh, difference here. So there we pretty much have it. I have to say that uh, it is not worth it, the second axis. Not for me, not where I live anyway. And uh, by the way, solo tracking, is it worth it anyway? Well, I don't know. I think it's fun and therefore it was therefore I built them in the first place. And uh, you also have to keep in mind here that this place here is the only place where the sun will hit my property during the winter time. So uh, therefore I have choosed this little area here and nowadays I also have bought the land here behind my house. So we have a mountain here behind the trees here and up there I have my second string of panels and uh, I also have one string up there. So we have 410 watts on that roof and uh, 720 watts up on my mountain and those here are 1920 watts in total. So if you want to know more about those panels here you will find some more videos on my channel just check that out and uh, well hopefully I see you next time. Now we know at least that two axes anyway well it's definitely not worth it. <laughs> not for me anyway. Take care guys thank you for watching see you next time.